finally, we're going to be doing the modern vodka martini, something that we'd probably make here at the Raymond. So actually, this one will be shaken instead of stirred. Um, you, shaking a, a martini versus stirring a martini is very different. And uh, typically, as bartenders, we're actually trained that the preferred martini is a martini that is stirred because it's silkier. You don't get as much like this uh, ice chips into it and it really protects the, the full notes of the spirits you are drinking. This is the same thing with other stir drinks like Manhattans and Old Fashions and Negronis. Um, but a vodka martini uh, getting shaken is something that kind of became in vogue starting uh, around the 50s to the 60s. It's still the thing today. The famous story obviously being James Bond. Ian Fleming wrote that he had a vodka martini shaken. According to the books, he did this because he liked to have martinis with in his eyes, high quality vodka. And when you shook it, it should come out crystal clear. But if he shook it and he poured it, it came out cloudy. Well, he being a spy with a license to kill, it must mean someone must have slipped something in his drink and he's probably in for a world of trouble. Um, this is by the way, not exactly proven. If you shake any vodka, it'll kind of start clouding up. But it's a cool story nonetheless, kind of like it. But anyway, I like really uh, salty, brinier ingredients, so. Whenever I order martinis, I actually prefer olives. I like olives a lot. And that's what I'll be doing with our shaken martini. So. And a little strain. So as you see, the noticeable difference here versus the shaken and the stirred. It starts to really cloud up. You get like a lot more aeration into it. So that makes it, uh, you don't have like as strong of a martini in this case, but you definitely have a little bit more of a refreshing martini. And for garnish on this one, as I said, I will be doing some olives. Again, there's so many interesting facts about martinis. Um, one of them being like, a lot of people claim that it's bad luck to do an even amount of olives in your martini. They say it should be one, it should be three, but if you do two, that's bad luck and means some sort of bad luck thing. Like, I don't know, whatever's the imagination. But you know what, I'm gonna do two. And the reason why is because Frank Sinatra always had two olives in his martini and he claims to be one of the luckiest people on earth. So I'm gonna be doing that. And there you are.